Welcome back everyone. We're now in Greg Minister, our main, uh, our very first area within the uh, beginning of the Sokoden. Now that we're here, as you can see, it's, it has a much more gloomier look on it. Um, you can enter the rooms and stuff, you can buy uh, armor, I believe. This guy actually has much better armor. Yep, just like that. Uh, there's actually much, much, much better armor, so we're going to go ahead and handle this really quick. Alright, so now that we got that done, let's keep going. Now, if you're interested, you can actually, I think you can check back at your own house. There's some other places here. Uh, rune shop. The, you know, the same old stuff. Let's see if, uh, oh, we can't, even, we can't even go in our own house. That sucks. Let's check over here really quick. We can actually go in here. Sometimes you can actually find some secret dialogues. And, you know, um, like a secret event or something. Okay, I don't think there's anything here. Oh, it's one more house. Nope, locked. As you can see, the river has completely dried up. All the fish are dying. Uh, pfft. Did I say dried up? I meant completely full. There's an appraisal shop. So, nothing, nothing new. So let's keep, uh... Let's just go ahead and continue. Now right away, even though it's an empty town, as soon as you cross this bridge, you have an immediate boss fight. And this guy is someone you do not want to sleep on, for sure. This guy's hard as hell. Um. <coughs> hmm, well that's right, he was. Stoltenhain, Rhinebach the third. And then battle commences. So I suggest you use everything on this guy because he's basically like uh, one of the last uh, enemies that you uh, that we fought earlier. Uh, I believe it was the Clam or it was Sonya. He's all about AoEs and every one of them hurt like a son of a bitch. So we're gonna go ahead use. Uh, actually I actually haven't used Thunder God before. That's the most powerful usage of uh, the Thunder Root. And we're gonna go ahead and use Judgment. We're gonna give this guy no slack whatsoever. Uh, let's see, Storm, and we're going to use Final Flame. Alright, this is definitely going to hurt him a lot. There we go. So that had to be at least over 3,000 damage. I wasn't really keeping count, but uh, it seems like Victor got hit for quite a lot of damage. Let's go ahead and give him a ball of lightning. Let's give him another judgment, another storm, and another final flame. This alone should just kill him. God, Pesmergo took 50, like at least 50% damage off of that. <clears throat> it's time for some heals. Oh, I wish I could have told him to heal himself instead. There we go. Let's use another ball of lightning. Grab the judgment. And let's use Shining Wind to heal this up. 
nice and good. And that was it. Um, the reason why he died in just a couple of turns is because all of I've basically got like the best um, rune magic out there at the moment. So you know, hitting him one by one, he just doesn't stand a chance. But if you're falling short of any of that, this guy will kick your ass. And that's the end of On Guide. And Flick automatically doesn't feel right about it. Because he simply was just standing there just to protect his friend, which is the Emperor, and already Flick is like, no, this is wrong. Yes, he was wrong. Yes. Alright, well. And if you go back, his body will be, won't be there anymore. So here's the second part of the uh, Red Minister which is actually just a garden pretty much and this is actually the beginning area where uh, we first left to see Lake Nut. Lake Nut, oh, why does her name have to be that? I just want to say Lake Nuts but well, the pigs are still here eating but uh, there's nothing left. Everyone's gone. All that's left is just the Emperor. So uh, before we head in here I think we're going to cut this off. I think, this, I think this is an appropriate place to cut it off. The next video will be the last one of uh, the entire game as we reach the top of the palace to meet Barbarossa. So, thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the last video of Sokoden. Have a good one.